welcome to Dash Can Value with Disabled. Uh, party time. I am headed over to my friend's house to celebrate her son's 10th birthday. I thought I had to set it set how I wanted it to, but I'm sorry, you get a lot of my steering wheel. So of my cute outfit. Can I say? I'm also still uh, detailing. I'm also still in the middle of detailing uh, my vehicle. I haven't put my placemats back in. Uh, I only have done the dash, like cleaning and wiping it all up, taking the freaking glove box out. I haven't cleaned the, glove, glove, the inside of the glove box yet, but I got the cabin filter at least done on the inside of the glove box, and uh, I still have to do the glass on the passenger side, and the passenger window I still need to clean. Like this thing needs a very deep, deep cleaning. This is gonna take me like a week or more to do. <laughs> and life still goes on. I still got stuff to do. And uh, since it's earlier in the day, like this is the time I'd really normally start get going on my cleaning and getting things going if I haven't been in bed all day and I can't get out of bed because I'm in too much pain kind of thing. But that's another thing. I was in a lot of pain this morning. It took me forever to get out of bed. Like I pop my meds first thing later on and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm in so much flipping pain. So much pain. I way overdid it yesterday with this cleaning, uh, the detailing of this vehicle. I'm not even halfway done. <laughs> Boy, am I paying for it. It hurts so bad today. But <sighs> my inflammation still like there is like medium, my edema, uh, the most of my inflammation is in my back, anywhere from like, like my shoulders down to like the arch of my back in the back. Like it's like my whole entire rib area, like all my rib, breathing ribs, like hurt. And this is the first time in a long time that I've decided to put on my harness back brace. You couldn't tell because of the layers that I'm wearing right now. And I'd love to show an outfit, uh, show my entire outfit, but I'm kind of driving and I can't really do that. <laughs> uh, but I just got done shopping for uh, for uh, my friend's kid's birthday. I couldn't have done it without the help of a uh, subscriber. Thank you so much for the support. Is going towards my medication as well, but this kid means everything to me. This is like this is my kid, my, my kid's kid, my God's kid. <laughs> I, uh, I I love this kid, and it's a bummer that I'm broke. You know, I I, I may just uh, pay you back next week for it. Um, now that I know your cash app from where you sent it, I, I'll probably send it right back. I'm up to it's, it's so hard financially for everybody right now. Uh, and I, they just spent too much money on my EDC stuff this month and my hobbies. And so it's my, my own, I'm taking accountability. 
dresses to school. Next day, I'd like drink, dress like all gothic. You know, uh, I could have been a wannabe of every freaking genre in high school. I just didn't want to be labeled as any one thing. And that was kind of my own silent protest of I wish people would stop judging people for people's outer appearance, even though that's what people's first impressions of other people are. So if you don't exude yourself artistically, expressively in that way that you dress, then you kind of just blend into everybody else. And that's a good conversation starter though, is the way I dress. That's why I have my own sense of style. I always have. I like to mix genres together. Uh, almost everywhere I go for the longest time, I mean, I've slacked off lately with my uh, dressing because I haven't really gone anywhere. I go to doctor appointments and like I, I don't want to <laughs> express myself too much in front of doctor's offices and stuff. I try to maintain a little bit of a professional patient appearance. Uh, it gets me further. I, I, I still don't like the world the way it judges people for the way they are. Sometimes I just don't have the energy to do any of it. <laughs> And most of the time, I just don't have the energy for it. I love getting dressed up, though. And I love getting costume. And I love... It's not that I love the attention. I'm not an attention seeker. I am a sharer of inspiration to be your best, happiest form of yourself. No matter who is watching or who isn't watching. I have purpose with almost everything that I do, whether I know what the purpose is or not at that moment. I don't even understand me at the time. <laughs> but I want to exude happiness and people just gravitate to me naturally and they all want a piece of this and they want to learn how to be happy and I just can't help everybody. You have to want to help yourself. I've learned this throughout my 40 years of life. You can't change somebody. A person's going to want to be changing for themselves. Uh, we like to surround ourselves with like-minded people and people that we have in similar interests in. Uh, I have so many different interests. I have so many different genres of groups of people. It makes life so much more interesting and fun. And I feel like I share a little bit of each of me. Different parts of me with each group of people that I spend time with. Uh, because I'm re relatable in so many ways. Because I love so many things. Because I love life. I love experiencing life. I had a hard time of FOMO, fear of missing out, for so long. I got jealous of others. And that's where negative thought processes begin. People don't have ill intent, but you know, I've, le I've learned throughout the years when I go to plan things and events these days, I'm so stressed out usually that it's so hard for me to keep my mind straight on what I need to do and what I need to prepare for and what I need to pack that I totally space out inviting other people to go do any of this with me. And it's usually a spontaneous, like last minute, like, hey, who wants to do this with me? And nobody can just like, stop what they're doing to go do that. <laughs> it takes it takes planning in life and I just I like to go with the flow and I feel like things are meant to happen when they're meant to happen and you know if I have enough forethought to invite others get people to come like come to Vegas enjoy my birthday with me uh, I would love to meet any of you if you are interested in EDM type stuff and want to meet up with me at EDC Las Vegas, uh, I would absolutely love it. I will trade candy with you. I will uh, make a custom thing if we set up things ahead of time. Uh, I have so many custom pieces right now that I'm still like in the process of it. I want to send a couple more things, but I need to finish producing it. I'm not in an artist block, but I just, I have so many ideas. I don't know exactly where I want to begin. 
<laughs> I have, uh, I just did another camel one today, briefly on my way uh, to prepare for my trip into town. I was going to gift my friend's kid one of my favorite necklaces I've made, but I just, I don't know how much he would really appreciate it. Uh, his, his family, his mom and dad, I love them to death. They are basically my Ray family, but it's only him and her. And <laughs> we don't ever go to any outside raves or parties that much together. We usually just hang out at their house and, and, and hang out there and enjoy enjoy our time together there. We we're trying to set up and get other DJs and other people to do smaller venues and smaller gatherings ourselves, but we just don't know where to get these places done. It's just the cities that we live in and near just don't really have the scene. They don't have it. They don't have a scene of anything, honestly. And it sucks. Our town sucks. And now my friends are moving away and I'm really kind of sad. I'm happy for them because they have, they got a great opportunity on some land and they're following their passions and dreams about natural gardening and herbalism and homesteading and, you know, small community. I don't, I don't know all that they're going to do, but they have lots of plans and I'm so excited for them. And it's so far away and it's just, they're my only friends that I really do see somewhat regularly once every month or a couple months.
despite all the crap, I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep motivating you all because life is good. Life is beautiful. Life is short. You never know how long you've got left. Tell those that you love them. Like, I can't wait to hug the hell out of my friends today and tell them how much I love them, how much I'm going to miss them, how much I'm going to try my hardest to go down and visit them. I'm just I'm so excited. I also talked to some of my friends up in Washington today. I guess I keep saying, I'm going to get off here, I promise. I just, I'm so excited about all the good stuff happening in my life and the connections I've made. My old shipmate from I lived in Hawaii. He wasn't even on my ship, but he was my roommate, and him and his wife, I lived with them in a house full of uh, other people. <laughs> it was such a huge house, and there were so many people living in that house. We had such a great time. I loved my Hawaii days. I was always getting so great from the Navy. The people and the friendships and the love that I have were all the people I served and lived with. I love them, but unfortunately, my friends are not in the best of spots because of my uh, my friend's wife's disability. She's my friend too, but like her disabilities prevent them from getting access to the right housing for them for Section 8 bash housing. They've been living in motels for like two years. I know another friend of mine from my ship in the Navy days on my ship. Uh, Virginia, he's been living in motels for years because there's just no availability for him. Like, this veteran problem is a veteran problem. Like, all happy as happy rainbows and birthday things aside from this video, like, there's still these real world problems that I just have so much empathy for my friends. And uh, I gave them a Christmas about two years ago, not my not this last Christmas, but the year before is the last time I saw them in person. I drove all the way up there for a Snoop Dogg show uh, up at the Seattle Tacoma Dome. One of the worst fucking shows ever. Not because of Snoop, but be because of my pain levels. Like, the situations that happened with the people in front of me and the disrespect that I felt for people. Uh, it was just kind of, it was not a great experience. So, I would love to see another Snoop show, but I, it was bad. I was in a lot of pain, and I went solo on that, and I just did not have any help and assistance. I ended up getting a wheelchair for the after party. <laughs> right, right. But anyway, I'm almost to my destination, so I gotta try to wrap up this full circle conversation here. I am planning that go back up to go see my friends up in Seattle, Washington to go do some crafting to get ready for EDC Las Vegas and I'm going to do this like the first week in April because I really need to get this stuff in gear. We really need to get my outfits finished up. She might have some accessories that she's going to give me or hook me up with or I'll trade. Uh, she's going to teach me how to do some of the fusing curler bean stuff. I'm signed up to do some candy making parties with some of the people in my messenger groups, but I just don't know how realistic with my time frame of all this other stuff going on and family things and uh, lots of stuff, stuff that works. And, uh, yeah, oh, this thing. I've got a lot of stuff. Just a lot of good stuff coming up ahead of me and a lot of goals I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to taking care of uh, before my EDC. I already started my EDC checklist. I, I know what supplies I need to order still. Uh, but yeah, I'm so excited for this journey. And of course, if I could get any of you to just like and subscribe my freaking channel, it would be amazing to help me stay in the algorithm. My numbers have been dipping a little bit the last couple weeks. I know I haven't been posting as regularly as I was when I first began. It's just life is going on and, you know, COVID really took a hell out of me for a month. I mean, that just really threw a wrench in my routine. I'm just now trying to get my routine back on schedule with, uh, I did some uh, exercises last night before I went to bed. No matter, I was so sore after doing all the detailing in my FJ last night.
last night. <laughs> I just should not even be done. It's just that whole, uh, I wish I could have finished it all in one night. <laughs> I'm too disabled for that now. I wish I could hire somebody to do it, but I know they wouldn't get the detail that I, my OCD detail is all about. I really want to keep, uh, I want my sh I want my stuff to look almost brand new. And it's going to be d too difficult to do that without ordering some other stupid parts on it. And I need to uh, contact the, co the Toyota dealership, see if I can still order any of these parts. FJs are no longer in production, so I don't know what I'm going to have to do to get some of these parts. I may have to go to the scrapyard. Uh, in fact, I have a cousin in Southern Oregon that works in, in a scrapyard business, so I may end up having to contact him. I mean, let me do that. See if I can get some FJ parts uh, off of some uh, wrecked vehicles. See if I can salvage some stuff. I don't care about used. As long as it's in good shape and better shape than what I've got. <laughs> I have some, so many little stupid plastic pieces that have broken off on this thing. Like, and the other purpose of really cleaning this vehicle really good Cause I'm thinking about getting it wrapped. Like I want to wrap it into a different color. Uh, I don't like the color of my FJ. I've seen another color that I want really, really bad. But I'm also thinking about like getting involved in the FJ Toyota FJ club. We do. There, there's groups out there, just like uh, Jeep groups, and uh, I have plans. I want to really start getting involved in stuff. Uh, get me out of the house. Do these things. I think it'd be great for my mental health and. Uh, keep me busy. It's just my pain levels and all these doctor appointments, they just get in the way of all this crap all the time. It's so hard to work around these things. <laughs> unless, a, unless it's a weekend. And a lot of the times, weekend is like time for like my friends' family times and stuff. So, I don't know. It's just, I need to find the right people to hang out with. I build up a better social community group. I just can't be in charge of it. I can't, I, I'm not dependable at all. I, I can't, I'm not consistent. That's why I wouldn't be good at having any kind of regular job. I'm not even consistent posting these videos, you know? <laughs> and that's why I find that YouTubing is part of my passion. I've always wanted to have a life kind of like this. I've dreamed about this since I was a child. I wanted to be an actress, but really I'm not acting anything. I'm, I'm being myself. And that's like the best, the best part of this is. Instead of pretending to be other people and taking on a role and acting and being famous for that. Not that I necessarily want to be famous. Uh, the money that comes along with being famous would be amazing. <laughs> But that would really just help me with my financial or my medical bills. Like that's all that's all that part would be all about is getting my medical bills under control. Like I'm glad that the quest diagnostics things finally got taken off my shoulders. Uh, thank goodness the VA finally pulled through two years later. <laughs> but but for someone to be in such anxiety and stress for two years over one stupid bill and you constantly try and call and take care of it like multiple times you just get to the point where you're like F it and you throw the papers up in the air and you're like I'm not doing anything for this anymore <laughs> that's about where I got really and now I'm finally picking them up at least I'll have a nice pretty pile of those papers now and I'm finally dealing with my feelings surrounding those papers <laughs> and I feel a lot better for it because I'm feeling my feelings even though they're many years later feelings I'm finally feeling them and you know honestly who's to say that the inflammation I'm feeling right now isn't from that from release, releasing the the toxic emotions and feelings out of my system because of the crap that I've dealt with for so many years. Like, there's there's definitely a link between trauma and that kind of stuff. I can I guarantee you. 
but that's why I'm trying to get into more homeopathic stuff and natural practices because I've been on medications uh, my entire life and now I'm just too sensitive to them. They've given me leaky gut. They've messed up my freaking gastrointestinal issue. You know, I'm just a mess now. Uh, but at least I'm a happy mess. <laughs> So, I'm going to get out of here. i got to figure out where my friends are at at the park. So, peace out, y'all. I love you all. Have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. Peace out.